I'm so excited for this game, guys. I don't know what to do with myself. My heart be racing. We have all eternity. <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Welcome to me being excited about this game. Uh, mm. Content warnings. Read. This game contains content that may be triggering or offenses to some. Oh. Oh, the options. Oh, it looks so good. Hold on, I have to actually change how we're doing this. Oh, exposed. <laughs> uh, you can't hear music on here, so we're gonna... <laughs> uh, text medium. I dialog box. Save our work mode, yes. Perfect. Save me from editing all the things. <laughs> it also means it probably be more accessible to the general public. So, yes, hello everyone. Today, we are playing sensations. We all know who 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 we might be doing. If you follow me on Twitter, you know I'm all about envy. <laughs> if you're interested in playing the game yourself, links are in the description. Um, at the time of this recording, um, the Steam version has not released that yet. It's the reason why this game was delayed for so long because they wanted to release it at the same time. But you know, Steam. Be a long process of getting your game on there. Um, but here we have game on itch.io. Um, once this Steam release does happen, I'll start including that into the description as well. Don't know how Safe for Work Safe for Workman is, <laughs> but yeah, if it if it's like a little too a little too uh, much to be to the general public, uh, those cut contents will be on my Patreon. And Patreon only, because Ko-Fi, Ko-Fi, sorry, I still haven't looked that up, <laughs> um, does not allow not safe for work content of any kind at all. I'm not going to risk it, so Patreon only. <laughs> Hope you enjoy patrons. Um, so if you're interested in that, links in the description. Let's jump in before I start rambling more. Um, let's go, let's go, let's go. It seemed like I had spent an eternity in hell. Once you're dead, you don't have clocks or the sleep and wake cycle to keep track of time. Things seem to stretch on forever. I'm going to see if I could... Mm. Yes. Good. Because I can't hear anything. Money! Oh my god, we're doomed. <laughs> in actuality, I had barely been here six months. I was just an ordinary guy living in Japan. I was an artist. Much to the dismay of my parents, but hey, I was sort of a rebel. My parents, despite their enormous disapproval, still helped me go through a prestigious art program. I had graduated and was looking for work, with little success. My parents never missed an opportunity to let me know how I oh. could have been a neurosurgeon like my mom, or a mechanical engineer like my dad. Oh. Okay, so... Well. Not like, to give too flesh. much personal uh, information, but I loved drawing porn. Specifically, uh, anime porn. I was pretty good at it. Unfortunately, that's a smaller market than the rest of the anime and manga world, so I wasn't optimistic about my chances at getting a job. Can I space this? Then, oh, one day, I got a job. I went through the first round interview. Then, the second, then the third, and finally got hired at a small startup called Frigid Delights, specializing in my own little specialty. I was thrilled, let me tell you. I was so thrilled, I was happily crossing the street, on my phone, texting my parents, lost in thought. Yeah, not the best idea. I got turned into asphalt pancake by a school oh, bus. Oh no, I forgot about this. <laughs> Apparently, my death was over pretty quickly, because there was a period of darkness. Then, my soul got sucked out of my body and raced down to hell. I was kind of disoriented, since it was my first time dying. As I approached the imposing gates of hell, I worried that an eternity of damnation and torment awaited me. Needless to say, my worries were for nothing. Hell wasn't all that bad of a place. It certainly was boring. A bleak plane of existence with mostly gray and muted colors. No real torture, other than boredom. 
The torture appeared to be heaven's propaganda. A lot of unfinished rock work added a spooky and cavernous atmosphere, but there wasn't really much to be afraid of, other than Lucifer. Lucifer spent most of his time brooding and plotting in his throne room alone. Hell's denizens saw him infrequently at best. Sorry, setting timer. Ah, usual. On brand. Forgetting to set my timer. <laughs> Fallen angels and dead humans spent their time telling each other stories of their time in heaven or on earth. Those stories had been repeated hundreds, sometimes thousands of times, depending on how long the demons or humans had been in hell. I had died at the ripe old age of 24, so I didn't have a lot of stories to tell. And the stories I did have to tell were boring. In short, my life was boring, and my afterlife is boring. Mm. With souls oh. constantly oh, pouring God, into hell, is... oh, demons mumbled 24-7 about their workload, registering people into hell's database. Their bitter grunts were entertaining to listen to, but that got old. Sometimes, hell's denizens would shake off their melancholy and have dances reminiscent of the time periods they were alive. Lucifer's hype man, Judas, tries to keep hell entertaining by having karaoke events or scavenger hunts. <laughs> But the real thing to look forward to was when Lucifer needed to choose a new deadly sin. Hey, hold on. Deadly sins are pretty interesting. Lucifer places deadly sins all over the world. They're basically just human incarnations of a specific sin. They're good at spreading. Lucifer decides when a new one is needed, or if one died and needs to be replaced. He would either have Judas hold a lottery to select the lucky deceased, or choose it himself in rare instances. After someone was chosen, Lucifer would craft them a physical body and send them back to the mortal world, wherever he determined they'd best serve. I didn't know it at the time, but there's several deadly sins the world over. Lucifer follows some unknown set of restrictions, so he doesn't just flood the world with hell's former denizens. The reward for serving as a deadly sin was demonhood. I'm not sure what makes being a demon so great, but a lot of people spoke reverently of the opportunity. Must be good if so many people want it, right? Just like pizza. <laughs> anyway, like I said, I've been here for six months. I met a few interesting people, among the billions of people here. Yes, billions. Turns out, heaven is extremely discriminating in who they allow up there. Speaking of interesting, here comes Chester. Chester was a roaring 20s all-American guy. Loves to talk about his dame and how much he had to live for, when his life was tragically cut short by a burst appendix. Uh, things happen. <laughs> uh, yeah, things happen. Gosuke! Good to see ya. Hey, Chester. I'm not gonna read anything. <laughs> I'm gonna try to read um, codexes and stuff, just because there's literally nothing for me to read. <laughs> so I'm really helping this time. I love this voice actor. Maybe I'll be selected this time. I love this I'll voice. Get to see it's again. so good. <sighs> if you're chosen, and if you get sent to Brooklyn at all, I'm certain Lucifer would allow it if I served well. I'm certain of it. Maybe. Do we have any idea on when Lucy will choose his new pet? Oh my stars, Lucy! You know Lucifer can hear everything here if he wants. You need to be more respectful, Ghost Guy. Lucifer's given us a new lease on life every time he needs a new deadly sin. Potential new lease on life. And that chance gets smaller and smaller every day, with more souls pouring into hell. I understand that, but as long as Earth exists, I gotta be chosen eventually, right? Gotta keep hope alive. No. I'm not holding my breath. Many of Hell's denizens have been here for millennia and have never been chosen. Just something for everyone to get excited over and then grumble about for a few months. Shush, 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 shush. your mouth. Look, Lucifer and Judas have arrived. Hell, oh, everyone! Uh, <laughs> I sort of wish that there was like a little bit of a more grand entrance. But this will do, this will do. <laughs> Jeez, tough crowd, tough crowd. Who died in here? <laughs> Same. <laughs> you know, Judith. You know. So, you've all 
all heard the rumors. And I'm here to confirm them for you. Lucifer has need of a new deadly sin of lust. What an opportunity. Lust has been a cornerstone of the deadly sins. I mean, who doesn't like a little no. hanky panky uh, no I matter where this. you are in life? Am I right? Yeah, am I right? Yes, lust. Imagine it. A sexual tyrannosaurus. A god of all things carnal. Ooh, I'm half a wreck just thinking about it. Oh, God. Whew, just kidding. Or am I? <laughs> where? <laughs> <laughs> Just like a culture. <laughs> okay, and with this glorious opportunity <laughs> comes new benefits. You'll get a fantastic ability to seduce people. It will even help you seduce people who don't want to be seduced. There will be so much seducing. Wow. You could even seduce me if you want. <laughs> I joke, I joke. Knock it off, you perverts. So, in traditional fashion, we've come up with three final contenders. Who among these three will be reincarnated as Lust? A ravenously sexual beast? An insatiable harpy? A domineering force of every bodily pleasure? It's a little, a little bit louder. A little bit louder. We'll start off by naming our first contender. Ashley Princeton! Give it up for Ashley! That's right, Ashley, come on down! You've got just <coughs> minutes to give a speech about why you should be lust. Be convincing, be demure. Show a little cleavage if you want. Show us lust! Um, <laughs> hi everyone! <laughs> This oh I'm, for, I, I'm forgetting I'm so much, so and I love it. I love like with Lucifer and Judas. listening to this again. Love you, Judas. <laughs> and whoa, what an opportunity! I mean, I am totally down to be lust. <laughs> Let me just tell you that straight out. When I was alive, I was a slut, a big slut. Like, wow. You know how those sorority girls get? <laughs> I guess that's all I really have to say. I'm so honored for this opportunity. Ashley, thank you. Give it up for Ashley, everyone. <laughs> Next up, huh? What's this? I can barely read the name. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Have to keep you on your toes. Father Carlson, why don't you step on up and give us a good speech on why you have a burning desire to be the next lost? Um, well, I oh guess my God. I'd no. be a good candidate because uh, I he... had a ton of experience with it when I was alive. You know, the whole celibacy thing, it gets hard. My oh my, I can only imagine how hard it was. <laughs> I'm uncomfortable. <laughs> Wowee, what a lineup we've got here. Our last and final contender has a couple of huge acts to follow. Kosuke Arai! Uh, Come on up here and tell us why you're so intent on being lost. Um... So, uh... I guess I'd be a good candidate because... I used to draw a lot of porn secretly, so I've got that hidden lust thing going on. I'm pretty good at it too. His <laughs> face. Uh. Whoa! -ho -ho -ho! A stunning revelation. An innocent-looking guy like Kosuke up here filling his school bind is full of naughty, salacious drawings. Truly magnificent. Now, Lucifer and I will take a moment to talk and decide on a winner. Then I have chosen. Kosuke. Uh, oh, that just went ahead and just cut you off. Cut you off, Judas. <laughs> oh, God, I love this friend. Oh, uh, I mean, we've already chosen Kosuke as the obvious choice. <sighs> off the stage, Ashley. Father Carlson, you too. Out. Out. Let's hear it for our new deadly sin of lust. Kosuke Arai. Our role. All right, mm, Kosuke, we've got a few things to go over. You're going to be the new deadly sin of lust overseeing Sin City. Las Vegas. What happens there stays there. Truly not a place for a novice. But I'm sure you have things 
well in hand. <laughs> right. <laughs> okay, so when you become a deadly sin, Lucifer gives you a teensy little test. Just to make sure you're going to be able to handle whatever your new life throws at you. Your test is going to be seducing all six of the other local deadly sins. How? You got to get them to love you. And it has to be done within two months. Two. No more, no less. I guess less if you manage it. What? Love? How am I supposed to get one person to love me in two months? Much less six. Don't be such a worry ward. You'll figure it out, big strapping guy that you are. <laughs> uh, now first, good. do, do we power. though, knowing me? <laughs> you activate this power by inclining your neck and thinking dirty thoughts about the person you're trying to seduce. Woo! Woo! Go on, give it a try. Think something naughty about me. Um. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> uh. You'll get the hang of it, I'm sure. Not a bad first attempt. I think I felt a jingle in my loins. Woo! Okay, second you have this handy dandy hell watch it's my own creation it helps you find where the deadly sin you're trying to pursue is just whisper to it and it will activate cool fashionable and serviceable uh um cool lastly you're given the latest model hell phone that's what i call it anyway because i'm clever the hell phone operate anywhere with any service I originally made the area code 666, but that seems so on the nose. Now it's 1696, because you're lost. God, thanks. So just make sure you give the area code to any of your potential sexcapades, and they'll be able to get a hold of you. Cool. This is a lot to take in so suddenly. Lastly, your body is due for retrieval if you fail to seduce anyone. Nothing you do will be considered private at any time, and Lucifer and or I are more than within our right to check in on you at any time to see your progress. Um, if at the end of two months uh, you haven't accomplished Lucifer's test, wait. you will be recalled to hell in a new deadly sin nominated in your stead. Uh, okay. You are not able wait. to tell anyone yes. that you are Hold trying on. to seduce that you are a deadly sin until after they have decided they love you of their own free will, void where prohibited. Wait, thank God they stopped here, because I was just like, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> okay, so this is like love. This is not like about seducing them and having the hanky-panky with them. This is love. <laughs> <gasps> Any questions? Uh, uh, Kosuke? <laughs> My body? Retrieval? What? Oh, don't worry about that. We'll cross that bridge when we burn it. Uh, Enough talking, Judas. I don't stop. I am constructing his body now. Serve well and be rewarded. <laughs> Sir? <laughs> this voice. Perfect. Long sentence. Ah, oh, I love. I love this part. Jesus. Don't you use that language in front of Lucifer. Oh, oh, Las Vegas. Uh, I need clothes before I do anything. People are staring. Perfect. I'm gonna check how, like, sound balancing is. It'll be a second for you. It'll be, oh, look, it saves my old saves. We're saving over old saves. It has been August, since August of last year. <laughs> cool. Oh, uh, choices. Uh, rush into a souvenir store or try to hail a cab. Uh, um, oh god, choices. Don't you wish your girlfriend was hot like me? <laughs> Reach the top. Superboy. Uh, pride. I know that person. I know who they are. <laughs> rush into a souvenir store. I don't know. Excuse me, ma'am. I appear to have lost my clothes and wallet. Can I borrow some clothing? Um, oh my, I, I, I suppose, but you will have to return and pay for them. Um, sure. Thank you. Follow me. Thank you for your generosity. 
Is there anything I can do to repay you until I can find my wallet? I feel like I should be paying you after that free strip oh. show. Oh. <laughs> here, you obviously need some cab fare, so here's ten dollars. Just come back and pay for the stuff and we'll be good. What is your name? Susan? We will remember you, Susan. <laughs> will we? I might forget. I, I have awful memory. <laughs> I definitely will. I suppose luck smiled on me to have such an attractive lady cross my path. Kosuke! Here we go. <laughs> oh my, you're quite the charmer. <laughs> Can... Hey, go. hey, hey. I'm just being honest. But thank you again. I'll be going now. Hmm, let's see. I have to gain the current sin's approval. I am now the incarnation of lust. I am in Las Vegas. And I have no resources but this hell phone and watch that shows me where the sins are. Uh, I suppose I should decide which sin to pursue first. I want to read the so bad. <laughs> I'm so used to being able to like read these kind of like dialogue. And that's so weird not being able to. I can, I probably can, but we'll see. Oh, here we are, everyone. Here we are. Okay, we have time to talk about who I probably want, but I can also read all of them, so. This is gonna be a, this will be interesting. Also, we get to listen to the music of each person. So first, we have Sloth. Um, is it, I forget how you say their names. Again, awful at names. Um, also, not the best kind of font for my eyes. So, is it Dimitri? Dimitri? I guess Dimitri. Dimitri from Russia. 20 years old, inexperienced. Crypto developer, deadly sin sloth. Dimitri is the only deadly sin to be tasked with a less is more situation. Luckily, his life is completely automized by computers mining a newer digital currency known as Litcoin. So Dimitri uses his profound knowledge of computers to automate the daily trading of this currency against other currency markets uh wait what oh my god <clears throat> i can't read this dimitri uses his profound knowledge of computers to automate the daily trading of this currency against other currency markets the world over he does occasionally have to get up and monitor a few things like con conventions or his company, but sleeping is his true passion. Dimitri is the youngest deadly sin at 20 years old. He is also the smallest deadly sin, standing at just 5'3", but that doesn't bother him much. People are taller after sleeping anyway. <laughs> Dimitri loves desserts and loves talking about technology and will talk your ear off about it if you let him. Right. Then we have the deadly sin, Greed. Talia, 29 years old, fairly experienced. Cody? Casino owner. Cody is a 29 year old owner of the biggest chain of casinos in Vegas. His recent deceased, recently deceased father left him everything in his will, and Cody has not been idle with what was given to him. Inheriting a fortune has done nothing to quench his seemingly insatiable gambling oriented personality. The music is a little low, isn't it? I personally can barely hear it. Maybe you can hear it a lot better than I can. Uh, despite having access to anything his heart desires, Cody maintains a restrained persona in most situations. He does love good food, alcohol, and gambling, but when he what he loves even more is having someone to show it all off to. Oh. Cody can usually be found catering to high-profile guests at his favorite casino, the NGN Great. Yes music so we have the deadly slain gluttony right is that how we read you could hear this a little lower usa 25 years old fairly experienced john swimmer 
John Anderson is a 6'3", 25-year-old, all-American guy that enjoys all of the exquisite cuisine and dining opportunities Las Vegas has to offer. At the young age of 16, John was already over 6 feet tall and eating more than 4,000 calories a day, much to the amazement of his classmate, teachers, and family. Uh, John is an all-around physically active person that views exercise as a means to eat more. <laughs> He routinely consumes seven to 10,000 calories a day and spends his non-eating times at the gym or pool working off the excess calories so he can eat again. John has a pleasant, caring demeanor and loves his pet husky gang more than anything in the world. Dog person, dog person, let's go. And then... <laughs> <laughs> Look, I'm super- I saw Envy and his perpetually worried face and I fell in love. <laughs> so, the deadly said Envy. Alexander Martinez. Uh, restor- rest- restauranter? <laughs> Restaurant business. <laughs> Alexander is the second son of entrepreneurs Javier Martinez and Rosa Maria Martinez. Uh, Alexander's parents moved to Las Vegas in 1989 and opened La Cast- I can't read it. This font is horrible. Castilla? An authentic Mexican Mexican restaurant on based on traditional recipes. Alexander has one sibling, Roman, who, become in, who became incredibly successful and wealthy by creating the popular beer brand Noche Siesta. Alexander spends every- Day, trying to help his parents at La Castilla, his parents, overworked and past retirement age, do not appreciate him enough due to Alexander constantly living in his brother's Roman's oh, there's an error there, shadow, and having few future prospects for his own success, his melancholy, mel melancholic <laughs> and envious nature made him the suitable candidate for the super deadly son of envy. Alexander is 24 years old and stands at 5. 7. He may be more difficult to seduce the longer you wait. I wonder if this goes like you could you seduce all of them, but you have to maybe do that in a certain order. So if you wait, if it goes the way I'm thinking, maybe as an option where you seduce every single one in the next two months. <clears throat> if you do envy last, it's going to be ex really hard to seduce them <laughs> so oh the deadly sin of pride from sweden 21 years old a fairly experienced like how fairly experienced as well okay. luke i should be able to know how to read names i know it's never gonna happen performer luke was born into wealth it was not long into his teenage years that he was selling out the concerts Ooh, some of the text is gonna be covered up because of the coat <laughs> He is fabulously wealthy and derives a lot of meaning out of his image, whether real or fake. Luke has received uh, international acclaim for his charity work for children's hospitals and utilizes this to heighten his already worshipped persona. Luke loves being the center of attention and shows this through his gaudy, outlandish outfits. Can his cocky demeanor and gushing, gushing? flamboyance be conquered to find the unsure, caring person beneath? Oh, oh, oh no. Really selling me all these people. <laughs> and the deadly sin of wrath from, I think that's India. 40 years old, experienced. Just overall experienced. <laughs> this is the other one I'm very interested in. It's Silas, I think? Crime Lord. Silas Dugall is a crime lord in Las Vegas. He rose to power by systematically killing his opposition. Okay. <laughs> he keeps a mal meticulous record of everything he does and expects precision and professional comp 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 I can't word of any job his organization over undertakes Silas gener generally keeps in tight controlled a uh, tight controlled persona while he is prone to administrating judgment that some people view as excessive Silas knows that's the only way you can keep people in line Silas is Silas is 40 years old and stands at just under 6 feet tall. He runs several businesses as friends for his more creative endeavors. His most well-known location is the Who's Your Daddy nightclub in southern Las Vegas. I don't know. 
We will go, go with Alexander. <laughs> I really want to do Alexander. <laughs> but it's... We're doing Alexander first. <laughs> I don't know how this game is, like, set up. Or broken down. So we'll do... We'll do this. We'll do this. Let's see. We've got one Alexander Martinez. Ah! Seems like he's at a restaurant. La Casita. La it's Casita. somewhere uh, off the main Vegas Strip. I literally so cannot read that phone. Walking there will probably take an hour or so. I guess I'll get started. If it's a restaurant, maybe I can get dinner there. And that is it for this part, everyone. If you are interesting... Interesting? If you are interesting, follow. <laughs> uh, uh, if you are interested... In playing the game yourself, I have links in the description. Thank you to this month's patrons and members. If you're interested in getting your access to videos, exclusive access to other things, check out my Patreon and my Ko-Fi. Links are in the description. Hopefully I'll see you there. And I'll see you next time. Subscribe. Bye-bye. Also, this music is really good. <laughs>